Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cosmic Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Black God Love of the Free Territory of France Lover. But right now, we're doing a full state of anarchy all the way over here. The Sorellians' vile attempt to dominate the lives of every citizen, oppress them by force, and crush their individual liberty has miraculously been prevented. Nestor Machno, the savior of France, has brought freedom to all. Anarchy is the law now. Freedom is back in the hands of the people. Which you lose political possibility, which sucks, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. It's a... Worthy cause. <clears throat> the Black Guard disbands the National Workers' State Military. With the Cerulean governmental structure torn apart, the Black Guard has now focused their attention towards the military. Officially disbanding the Revolutionary National Workers' Armed Forces and replacing it with the Black Guard, all field marshals and generals have either been forcefully removed from the position or shot. In response to this military loyalists attempted to garrison themselves in strongholds and resist the Black Guard, a fruitless endeavor when their own soldiers turned their rifles towards each other. The engulfing chaos seemed to have taken hold over the even most loyal soldiers when a responsibility for actions is removed, people will quickly lose their sense of duty and unleash their true national being. The military of France now composed of Black Guard militants under the command of prominent anarchist figures and with no official officers. These officers are democratically elected and have been provided with the freedom to act as they wish, however, they remain loyal to Machno's orders. When then time is necessary, and Machno must call upon his comrades to defend the workers of France, these words will rally behind the black flag. The boot of the general has been severed. Nice. So, do you want to do anarchist military state? Weekly manpower looks pretty darn good. Establish anarchist communes, you lose even more political power, which is not great. And then power begets parasites, which is pretty good. And it gets a couple guns, too. Uh, anarchist military state. As of now, Machno serves as a protector of France, while the people live freely and organize their own systems of government and power. Many of them in France are still opposed to Machno and the Black Guard's radical policies and still fight for the dead Sorellians or Communards. Thus, Machno and the Black Guard have to use their military might to keep France safe once more. At fifth research slot. Yes, thank you. Thank you. 1938, of course. We've got quite a few columns to go through as well. And anything else we really, really want here? We're doing rail gun signal companies. Maybe we should have enough. Uh, stuff here as is. Uh, I can always come back to do naval stuff as well, I suppose, if we really wanted to. No political power, apparently. Which really doesn't feel good, but how about power begets parasites? Power on its own, when possessed over others, is a natural way of life. However, concentrated power used to enforce your will over the masses who have no ways of fighting back is inhumanely evil. All forms of state hierarchy that allows will be abolished. No more government positions, no more religion, no more businesses and banks that abuse their workers and customers, no more parasitic control. But a couple comments included. Uh, so it says, with the Sorellians in the beginning of the last episode, I thought this was a bait and switch where you draw an anarchist with a title and they just play a regular socialist game. No, we went full anarchy. Oh yeah, you bet we did. You, we bet you did. Um, <laughs> someone else says, I respect your whiteboard content, but please try to shift away from trying to speed read every single event and focus tree. So it says, to get flame tanks, which I did ask in the last episode, you need to have researching, or need to research, engineer, too. So I didn't realize that. But thank you for letting me know. I, I didn't realize that. Flame tanks would be nice. Kind of cool. Medium flame tanks, heavy flame tanks, sonars. So, thank you very much. Uh, actually, we've got plane stuff. Uh, that's not bad. We have these two research already. I guess just keep going with this stuff for now. I'll save that naval uh, XP as well. So it says, I tried doing this path, but the anarchists never seemed to coup the Cerulean's. I also tried to set the game rules to make the anarchists coup, and they never cooed. Maybe it was fixed in a recent patch? Um, I don't know, I just followed the path guy the entire time, so. Get the Sorellians, make sure you're playing Kaiser Redux, not Kaiser Reich, maybe? That might be the thing. I don't know. So, someone says I should play as Go Goebbels' path in Germany in Kaiser Redux, which I have played using the Rota Morgan somewhat before. Very fun. I don't want to do it again just because it's so much fun to do. Um, additionally, anything else here? Eh, sure, why not? Someone says do in Kaiser Redux a social liberal Russia playthrough. Okay, yeah. Uh, someone else says, did he get the name wrong? This is Cerulean, not anarchism. Until you realize at the end of the last episode, we did become anarchists. Someone else says, when are you planning to do another HP Lovecraft campaign? I heard it's been improved somewhat. Oh, I don't know. It was improved. Oh, look at that. Robert McCormick. Quartermaster General. And Rick is killing itself, but that's nothing new. So we'll maybe, maybe try it out some other time. Second expedition. Wow, the PSA is doing really well. Oh, the Russian state. A Russian empire. I gotta try out that route. That looks really, really hard. Like this. Against Boris Sevenkov. Ooh. Can we still see? Ooh, you see three divisions. Hello. We do have to make sure that we're all prepared for all this type of warfare and stuff. Um, I'm gonna send you guys. And send a horse dude as well. Led by Jan Gan Gamarnik. Sure, why not?
Uh, 140 planes is not bad either. How would that work with an anarchist society? I'm trying to command planes and stuff? Actually, do we have anything else anywhere else? You guys are training southern Iberia. Ah. Oh, we're still over here, aren't we? Oops, forgot about that. Makes sense, I guess, why I forget about it. DAC bombers? Uh, let's go down to 50. There you go. And come on over. It's fine. It's back from Very nice. All right. The Liberty of Voilance. In a quiet summer evening in Paris. As people sat and drank coffee along with some croissants, it appears that the chaos has reigned supreme. The Black Guard is violently purged and dissolved the government, burning down the C G CGT building and demanding that the people reign supreme. As a violently purged remaining households, chaos was caused around Paris and in the countryside. Anarchist elements across the country, backed by Machna, slowly began consolidating control as paramilitaries fought with the remaining Black Guard elements. The provisional anarchist state collapsed in and of itself, resulting in a complete power vacuum. Riots rose up. <clears throat> Across France, resulting in pockets of complete lawlessness across the countryside and extremely small areas the size of a neighborhood in the cities, as Machnon has gained carefully diffused the situation, saying that this is a true symbol of vertitious anarchy, full of vitality, destruction, explosions of creation and annihilation. Of course, none of this was planned. The chaos only took hold due to the wide-scale resistance from the former communards and Sorellians, as this happens. Reporters around the world are horrified at the developments of France and look around at the situation hiding, knowing they'd be killed or worse if they would appear openly. Surrealists like André Breton and An Antoine Artaud also openly endorse the chaos, seeing it as an extreme form of surreal theatrical expression of France, with Breton saying this is the absolute state of existence. This is total surreal auto automatism. Beyond reason and beyond facts, we have liberated ourselves from the state. Now we must liberate ourselves from reality. We must go faster. Oh yeah, we tanks on here too. I forgot about that. Yeah. Super nice. I go here and go there. Um, you lose even more political power. You get more stability back, which is nice. Cynicals and totalism will be destroyed. Black Army reprisals. You get more speed. You lose quite a bit of organization and defense, which I don't really like. And down here, you get plus point one more. So it might be worth just going straight through that tree for now. And then going through everything else, maybe? Ooh. Oh, so really an economic policy, which doesn't make any sense. Cooperatives, I kind of wish you could go through this one, like after we went down our path. But it is what it is, I guess. There's not really much we can really change. Mass production. So pocket somebody goes does go down. Three percent more population is really nice though. You don't really need it, but whatever. You know what, let's do international avant-garde first. For too long have traditional arts and classical music dominated entertainment of the masses. While jazz is enjoyable and widely popular in our countries, one genre can, cannot fight against all others. We have to create new ones and to show the world what the real entertainment is, and it'll show to the world that we're good for this era. Yeah, let's do that one next. All we want is a simple encirclement. And there you go. Ah, good. You know, trust Italians. You never trust Italians. Ah, Italians. Cannon's very nice, it's only 39. Uh, medium tanks would not be bad. Don't really need them. We'll go light tanks and probably head and maybe 43. So, I guess he does require that one. Ah, eh, do it anyways because he can. We got enough time for for now, anyways. <clears throat> Good job, guys. Good job. I'd like to cut them off here. In all honesty. Nice. Come on, there you go. Left KMT. I honestly just want you to hold the line. That's all I care about. Ah, Machno, yes. Lead them. Be great. Get to the fighters. Oh, you are the fighters. We're the bombers. There you go. Not a lot of planes, but they should do better there. Do the best y'all can. No guarantees for anything, but, you know, whatever. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. That's great. That's a good thing. More mobilizing more, which is very nice. We need quite a few more guns, apparently. And motorized, but whatever. Air doctrine. Uh, experience gain. 
Nice. So these guys are cut off. And we'll just kind of stay here for now. Which will be a great thing. A phenomenal thing. Yeah. Uh, keep building ourselves up for now. That'd be nice. And you guys are just kind of moving around. You can try to attack here. It might go well. It might not. Yes, no, maybe so. Find me over wherever that's Ah, oh, Franco. Literally just Franco right there. We're gonna need a little bit more fuel though. It does kinda suck. It's alright. Become a trickster. Good. Hell's fighter, yes. Uh, we're definitely not gonna force the attack right now, but we go with disperse industry. Be very nice for us. And we are there. Yes, please. Ooh, if you hurry up and get through there, you might be able to circle them if there's no one down here at all. Oh, and there is. Oh. Actually, I did want to comment on that. Like, look at that. Austria-Hungary, or I guess Austrian Empire owns Bosnia-Herzegovina. Serbia owns all this. And Hungary doesn't have Banat Republic. This is very ugly. Look, the Czechoslovakia looks really nice, though. Nice hair. Nice. Yeah, Eurasian Bloc, Reich's Pact, and then we have the Scandinavian Defense Union. Oh, all right, well, whatever. How are we doing over here? Nice. Bohemian Revolution, of course. Hope you guys can hold as much as possible. I don't know if the left game can actually hold that well, but we'll see. <clears throat> Dr. Phil. There you go. Just destroy the division if you can. Eh, good job, guys. Nice. You might want to try something like that and go wee wee wee. Slaughter the Sorellians. With the leadership collapsed, the remaining Sorellian loyalists had no chance of launching a successful counterattack. The assassination of Valois is already being a, the deadly strike at the heart of the Sorellian machine, the later bombings and killings. <clears throat> Only seal their fate. Machno's fiery speeches had galvanized the working class into a revolting against their masters, and no few remained. Locked in chains as a symbol of their tools being used against them, the remaining Sorellian militant leaders break as they witness a regime crumbling, knowing their time has come. With these last Sorellian leaders rounded up, we must make the decision of how to best execute them. Do we go for an efficient method or something more explosive? All the people are demanding a show. Fill the bodies with blood, make it quick. The crowd always loves the public hanging. Should have explosives to their naked bodies, let them have some fun. Yeah! Establish anarchist commune. Urbanize and centralized cities allow for control over the masses. Squalor and need are enforced by the corrupt elite of the city. It's not fair nor is natural, therefore we shall promote anarchist communes that operate solely by functioning and depending on the needs of their inhabitants. Mass decentralization of society is the future. Very cool. A happy little anarchy. Oh, hello. Can we just capitulate them if we just took them out right now? I mean, that's potentially a thing. I guess in the last episode I did, like... Almost get ourselves killed off here. <clears throat> Getting encircled and stuff. Come on, take him out, guys. Seriously. I want you to hold. Well, I guess you're forcing defense, so. Ah, come on, that's so stupid. Even forcing defense, it doesn't do anything. That literally makes no sense. Oh, I guess. There you go. Oh, don't mean we're gonna get encircled here, you ding dongs. I'm trying to. When you don't ever trust AI, do not ever trust the AI. Don't leave just yet. Go that direction. So those guys can get in there first. It's so stupid. I, I should never trust AI. Never, ever, 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 ever trust it. It's always a mistake to trust AI. Actually, Cordoba would be good to get. This is still connected through here. Heck, okay, if we just take Cordoba, you force the attack. You might be able to win here, maybe. Or maybe you won't. Yeah, depending here is good. You take the supply point, that'll really hurt them. <clears throat> you guys are taking a big old beating here, too. Just fine with me, like I said. Come on, man. 
How are we losing? This literally makes no sense. I hate the AI. It's so bad. Pump it harder. Leave. Seriously, leave. Why don't you leave? The first bourgeois international art festival. The first bourgeois international art festival was held today. Only thanks to the efforts of both Britain and France in creating international avant-garde such a festival took place. The artwork included many cynicalist realist paintings, commissioned by the French government as well as many British, Russian, and American paintings in a mural painting by Diego Rivera. The event will be lasting into the weekend as it attracted worldwide attention. We'll enjoy the spotlight for now. We'll be the first of many the government will make sure of it. How many tanks are we out? 215, we're going to drastically increase production then. Uh, where are the tanks? Hello. Right there. My bad. Um, go there. Diplomatic mission from Switzerland. Swiss diplomats arrived today in Paris to discuss the state of relations between the two countries. Previously, two states were on the opposite sides of the Savier crisis, but now the crisis is behind us. It seems that the Swiss are eager to get in good graces. Negotiate? Sure. Uh, destroy the hoarded wealth. What's this one for? Smash the shackles of a nation. A nation state is inherently anti freedom. The limitations of freeing the soul that is created by borders, citizenship, laws, and government are despicable. Any last remaining remnants of the commune of France must be completely annihilated. The commune is dead, long live anarchy in the free territory. We need Cordoba, extracting concessions. As the Swiss are more damaged by our poor bilateral relations, it's possible that they will agree to concessions in exchange for economic uh, cooperation in the shift, shifting or lifting of trade sanctions. On the other hand, asking for too much threatens to leave the negotiations entirely. Should we make demands? Uh, failed coup, huh? Hmm. We'll go that one. Any negotiations? Swiss have returned to the discussion with an offer of technological cooperation. Both their nations cooperate in technological development, and the other. The trade will be stored. With this new deal, both of our nations will gain from this deal. We'll agree to the terms. All right, whatever. Maybe we would not lose there, and you can win there. That'd be great. Successful negotiations. Despite the political and military differences between ourselves and Swiss, negotiations have gone a long way towards restoring normal relations. We will see how the fruits of these negotiations will fare in the coming months. Swiss made amends. Get out, get out, get out. Why does the game not let us move? Seriously. Get out. You get out. Sometimes I really question that. Is it me? It might be me, but I, I really question, like, what is going on? I want you to leave. And leave you should. <laughs> yeah, we're going to force this one. Uh, there you go. Yeah. There we are. Kill this piece of garbage division off. Always well, we seem to be fighting over a river. Should be enough to hold the line there. It could be wrong. Should be enough, though. Are you kidding me? Are you? I hate the AI. It's so worthless. Good. Kill that flipping division off. Piece of doo-doo. It, it makes no sense how bad the AI is when you're trying to help them out. Why are they losing so bad up here? God, anarchists. Syndicalists. They just don't know how to fight that well or effectively. Germany suppresses. It's French population. The German Empire, afraid of the rising power of the state, decided to tighten control of the border region since they are fearful of a growing influence. We must be patient. Soon the time will come when her brothers in Valonia, Lorraine, and Alsace should be liberated. Sooner time shall come. We have the supply base there. There's no supply here. Go in.
Come on. How many light tanks do we actually have now? Nice to have The Black Market Hero. So called Cynicals Revolutions were nothing more than a power swap so from tyrannical capitalist bankers to tyrannical union bosses. The regimes of France, Britain, and Socialist Italy know better than the Kaiser, for at least the Kaiser's honest about his all powerful position. Cynicalist democracy has been a misleading tool used to fool the workers of the world into locking into their own chains. True freedom requires the abolishment of any power hierarchy. The Black Guards finally achieved this goal of liberation from the state, liberation from slavery. Upon season Paris, the Black Guard announced their former allies in Britain and Italy to claim the free territory of France, the enemy of all nations who enslaved their broken populace. This zone of anarchy is now detached from the rest of the world. Freedom or death. And there goes Third International with us in it. Destroy the hoarded wealth. Money is the root of all power, and the greed that wealth creates has warped humanity beyond a recognizable state. Money is a great corrupter. From now on, all currency from the rich will be seized, and currency will be, now, be made no more. Centralized banking system that allowed people to gain obscene wealth will be also done away with. The bankers will be will own the people no more. Yeah, pretty much. More military factories. Uh, 60 is fine. Uh, push back over the water. Sorry, Mosley. As handsome as you may be, I got other goals for this campaign. There you go. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Supply, supply, supply. We need Cordoba. We have to get Cordoba. We may involve getting that tile first. How's this front fairing? Well, it's definitely going. Not great. Win here, then win there. That'll be the goal. Um, ah. That'll be good. Do not get encircled here, for the love of God. Please do not get encircled up there. Come on. Take the stupid thing. There you go. Of me, follow Beijing. Goodbye, Beijing. Good. And we'll, once this division is done, we'll attack over here, too. Nice. Very good. Destroy the Horde of Wealth would be great, great, great. We need more guns. Tanks are looking slightly better. Motorized is looking okay ish. Nice. Immediately seize Cordoba. There we go. Now that's not bad. And get all that extra supply there eventually, too. That'd be nice. Very nice, actually. Hopefully they throw another division in here, too. We need one front to finish off. And I think we're, we're just going to race towards the southern front to be finished off as well. There you go. And... Oh, there goes... Oh! I thought the CSA was going to lose since they couldn't give us any more fuel, but okay. Nice, not bad. Help them out. Help them out. Push them down. Once that division leaves, oh, good. Supply-wise, we gotta go down here too. This is it's not bad, but um, if anything, probably yeah, go up here. That town needs to die, then here, and then Seville. Second sign of the Japanese war, not bad. Why are you still going over there? I don't understand. Let the division move first, or not. There's three divisions over there, and they're forcing the attack. You might still be able to do okay-ish. Come down here. Smash the shackles of a nation. Destroy the hoarded wealth. Black Army reprisals. As unbelievable as it may sound, there are some many, in fact, who oppose the gifts bestowed to the people of France by Makdo. His generosity in providing unlimited freedoms must be preserved. Those who wish to organize and revive France must be dealt with harshly. Very nice. Yeah, they are definitely losing because they're focusing so much on the left KMT, so... Not sure that's a really winning strategy for them, but whatever. 
Militarist revolt. No war economy yet. Could you actually get down here fast enough? I kind of doubt it, but... Okay. Okay, then. Take that. We'll wrap these guys up. That's extremely good. Five more divisions are very nice, too. Um, so that should be enough on this front here. Really, I'm worried about this front. Yes, yes. Move, move, move. How are these guys not capitulate? I was wondering exactly, like, when are they going to capitulate? That made no. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. What the. God, I hate the AI. Well, since they capitulate, they should do well, anyways, not capitulate soon, anyways, too, so. Especially along the way here. Chongqing, alright. Should be fine. If anything, you guys should be pushing in now, too. Ooh. No, still getting probably more weekly manpower anyways. Destroy Horde of Wealth would be great. Hopefully they destroy that division. They should be able to. Alright, we're going to destroy this division here, if possible. By destroy, I mean just like push into them. Still getting a good amount of army XP, though. I do like that. Pretty working conditions. Wow. Uh, we're actually going to focus on that. We need a lot more. Holy crap. Bracket shooting? Nice. More guns. It is 39, so we better be ready for war. For ourselves this year, too. That'll be good. Nice. We'll get Barcelona back. It's going to be the chassis. Chasis, chassis. Kunming. Azerbaijan. Good, 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 good. We're probably still going to get encircled here somehow, some way. United Front forms. Blackguard targets the banks. In the streets of the city like Marseille and Paris, uh, Calais, and Dunkirk, a fire rose up through the skies and burned through marble buildings. As bombs and artillery fired against the preciously delicate buildings which represented capitalism for far too long and subsequently the reactionary totalitarian forces of the Totalist Charter, and with a million dollars worth of property were wiped out and turned into ash that flew into the sky, making the sky gray and foggy. Subsequently, elements of the Black Guard which controlled Paris brought Mach to a podium and stated the following. Comrades, it has been an excellent day, for the long-standing institution of currency which oppressed our dear anarchy has been wiped out. Banks across the economy which were for far too long long functioning. Decades ago at the hands of capitalists and then at the hands of Sorelians, both reactionaries, of course, were destroyed and turned into complete piles of dirt and ash. This fire represents a cleansing, one which the world hasn't seen since its free territory. And now we've liberated ourselves completely from every element of state of society. Freedom is at your hands. Thousands began clapping and cheering mixed with rioting from other forces, and just after those few minutes of quiet and profound observation and listening, it appears that the anarchists returned back to its normal state. But the banks are made of marble. But no gods, no masters. France has been transformed to a utopia of liberty and anarchism. Maknovia, as it may not be called, is the only territory in the entire world where the true anarchy reigns. No gods, no masters, no kings rule here. The people rule, and Makhno represents the people. If he wants to be, of course. Um, I want to help out, but they want to help themselves out, so... Oh. Wait. Did they... Peace out? Oh, that's so stupid. Why? Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. That's definitely a mistake, in my opinion, but whatever. Who am I? Also, since you're done there, yeah, yeah. just keep bombing the crap out of them if you can. Alright, so now you're actually showing up here, huh? You get your capital back. That's probably smart to do. Go up and around if you can. Get help. Completely cut them off. And keep going. Oh. Wait, why do they go to war with Poland? Biraki? National populace, huh? Alright. Thousand more weekly manpower is not a lot, but yeah, it's better than nothing. 
force it. <laughs> yeah, they won't force the fence. You know, whatever. Good, good, good. Barcelona's back. How are we losing? I know it's mounds and stuff, but still. There we go, now we're winning. As we should. Good. I don't want to deal with that again, so. Come here. Nope, not that one. There you go. Nice. Definitely train for now. Uh, we need way more guns. So, let's make... Two millions at all times now. Alright, you guys actually won, or no? Tanks hanging out, which is fine. I hate that so much about how the Republic of the Czechoslovakian just kind of stay there. How is Germany winning or losing? Guys, Redux is just so weird. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. And then you guys come over here. No gods, no masters. So we're done with that side of the tree. Let's go to the army. Communal army. The French nation is an army, but it's an army that still does not have a unifying direction. Some still propose the same army, the Valkyrie with the high command. Others want more initiative to the NCOs. Others still desire a motorized and mobile army. Finally, there's also the idea of mass conscription. Once we dissolve the military trade unions, we must follow the unified vision. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, so you guys go here. Another division destroyed, even though they look like they can get encircled themselves. Ah. It took La Coruña, eh? Well, I kind of doubt he can take Burgos. But you might be able to circle this guy up here. Valia Dolid? Nice. The Junk of Warfare. A little bit of lag. Wait, why is it lagging so fast? Poland dead? Poland might be dead. China's dead? No, Iran is dead. Oh, who cares? There you go. Ah, no supply through here because of this tile. Makes sense. No, you're gonna force the attack. You're gonna win no matter what. Ah, another guy. That's no, good. Which means this, you get a lot of supplies soon. One day left. Come on. Oviedo? No, you're gonna win here whether you like it or not. If I don't care if they can pierce this or not, it doesn't matter. There you go. Oh, would you look at that? Encirclement. Can someone else go to Leon? How? There you go. Don't care what happens. Machnovia. A creation like no other. The free territory of France, or it's more commonly referred to as Machnovia, against all odds or so remains. Functioning not as a nation, but as a collection of fully autonomous communes and Soviets united under the protection of the highly decentralized Black Guard. Whilst violence, pillaging, and looting from rebels, holdouts, and occasionally black guard militants still ravage their lands, there's been development of a new society. When not fighting against their dudes or themselves, communes trade and barter. A small step for any other society, however, with the collapse of all the defining features of a nation that this last remaining aspect of modern humanity continues. The only laws enforced are that of the black guard, although officially possessing no power, Nestor Machno serves as a military to defend the free territory. As army is the only thing preventing other nations from, from taking advantage of the chaos and invading whilst he rejects it to any town of leader that has become the national father of this new endeavor. As Arnicky reigns, so does Machno. Even anarchists require a leader. Mm, that's not bad to get rid of. Military factors would be really nice to get now. And the colonial stuff. Yeah, I forgot about that stuff, whatever. Uh, a war economy and agriculture. 
But Jacques Doriot is the new economy minister of the commune, and Sorelian is a proponent of this war economy and agriculture theory, calling for rapid conversion to war economy along with an ambitious development of the agriculture. Should the German reactionaries attack, we should certainly have use for the rifles and the bread. There, just help support the attack for now. Bourgeois disease got to die. And any tyrant must die along with them. Now you're going to finally win right there. Oviedo. Hope we're ready for the war. It's already May, so you never know. So the AG boy looking pretty ugly, not going to lie. Poland is still holding on very nicely, though. Very surprised how well they're doing. Burgos. Yeah, just go here. Tying everything up. Tying their noose. Basic medium tanks. We're not going to bother for that for now. Uh, oh, well, there we go. Not bad. We actually finally won. Thank God. That's a really nice, sublime Ottoman Federation. You know, Azerbaijan looking pretty frickin' thick. Oh, I love how thick that is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to get involved down here. That looks really bad, so. Actually, I'm a Poland. Can I send you any volunteers, Poland? Honestly, tanks will get in Pierce pretty easily, so I'll not send tanks. Oh, uh, Gaston, you can come back for now. Oh, I got these three divisions. You said two, right? Yeah. Uh, leave the horses out for now. You guys can come back here. Why not? Spanish Civil War over? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. And communal army? That's good. Very nice. Uh, almost, almost roughly one a day. It's not bad. You guys go and train it until you're dead. Or just until you don't need any more. That'd be nice. Uh, we don't have an Air Force, which really does suck. And then... More naval bombers? Sure, why not? More fighters? Not bad. Anything else here? Not really. Not too much. I don't really care about too much. Yeah, Warsaw is definitely trying not to fall. You guys are over here. Nice. I have to bet. I'm like, did they already die? Soldiers we already sent? Poland? Hope not. Alright, so you guys, good luck. You're definitely going to need it. Uh, three is highest we got, so that's fine. Combine arms, defensive doctrine. Um, really, just defend Warsaw. That's really all, all I ask, I can really ask for. I don't think you'll... How many forts are here? They got a lot of forts. The Germans must have taken a lot of casualties in this war. Uh, Polish war. German-Polish war. 54,000. Eh, no, actually, Poland's lost a lot more than I thought they would have. It's alright, whatever. Just don't lose your divisions. Oh, it's really wild. Not bad. Looks like I'm gonna lose Warsaw anyways. Actually, how much anti-air do we have? Because I'm sure the Germans have a lot of anti-air. Do we have any anti-air? No, we don't. God dang it. We don't have enough of anything. Well, Pope, you're learning a lot regardless. Oh, the Austrians here too. That sucks. Puerto Rico? Communal army? Because <clears throat> I want to get down here. Modern farms. We need way more civvies. We need a lot of stuff, anyways. But still. Military build up. Honestly, we could probably use that immediately. Let's just. Uh, military build up. Prepare for the upcoming war. We'll need to develop our war industry rapidly and efficiently. This may damage our short term economic growth. It may not be popular for those in the populace who hope for peace and prosperity, but sadly, we know better. The survival of the revolution is at stake here. Pretty much, man, pretty much. We might have to defend for uh, 
It's enemies as well. Let's go and do this one first. Military battle. We need those military factories now. Poland's a mess. My gosh. Here goes Borsaw. Best of Jason. Ah, oh, that sucks. There's you guys are coming back, though. We tried. We gave it whatever we could give it, so. It's alright. It's the thickest Istanbul, man. I love that. Cairo Axis, Reich's Pact, Entente, Istanbul Pact. Entente. Constitution American Republic is doing okay. Even the Feds are doing not bad. They have most of Pennsylvania under, under control, too. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all, man. My goodness, do we need more weekly stability, though? Holy smoky fathers. Oh, you're done training? Nice. Good job, guys. So, July. I hope Third International doesn't attack us. The Germans will definitely try to kill us off. How much arty do we have? Nowhere near enough. Way more. Good job, guys. Proud of what you've been able to do. New Zealand crisis, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Our military build up, and after that one, we'll probably do work economy and agriculture. Well, would you look at that? Nordic Federation. That looks really, really nice. I'm kind of been, no, I'm kind of interested. The union between Sweden, Denmark, Norway. That looks actually pretty awesome. Actually, how strong are they? Because right now we're calibrating the economy, but well, not that strong. Quite a few divisions though. But calibrating the economy. The capitalist world is still struggling with last year's shattering economic crisis, whilst the righteousness of our own system continues to prove itself. It's been suggested that we utilize this industrial advantage to transform certain aspects of the economy exclusively towards military purposes. Now, I did say I wanted um, some more civvies, but minus 5% consumer goods is still pretty darn good. Further military research or development would be really nice. Mass production, modern farms, ooh. We don't have to go to war, do we? We get to do peaceful coexistence. Take down Germany. Hmm. The longer we wait, the worse it is for us. How, how strong are our forces now? Would we be able to hold out against the German hordes? Maybe? I would like some forts along here. Of course, these divisions are 20... Well, some of them are 27 combat width. Some of them are... Uh, 15 of them are... Eight, 15, 15 of them are 18 combat width. The others are supposedly 27. We don't have enough materials, raw materials yet, or just equipment in general. <clears throat> Would we be able to hold out? I'm thinking not yet. Actually, if that's a case, let's go throw in some another line of millies here too, and that'd be pretty darn decent. Um, Hydroelectricity would be kind of nice. A war industry, mass production, modern farms. That looks really good. I'll do this one first. Maybe we'll go to war in 1940. Farming has been a staple civilization since ancient times, and yet it's profoundly changed in one century. Recent tools like tractors allow a single farmer to harvest fields in a single day that would have required dozens of farmers in a week in the past. Let's mechanize our farms to put more food in our platters and our rations. Now, can they go to war with us? I think they should be able to. Um, Spot von Braun. Oh, yeah, just see whatever they're doing. So, kill Gibraltar. Christian Trade Union. Final reforms. The oil must flow. Oh. Well, isn't that a grubber? Deutschland restored. Deutschland over alles. It's going to Oswald. For France prepares to attack us. Our spies, of course, cannot cheers have reported buildups of troops posturing for an attack against our nation. The most likely avenue of attack will come from the south in Provence, but we must keep our men flexible. Who knows what devilish plans or reactions they have concocted during their exile? The revolutionary flame must never be extinguished by the cheers of no cheers. They won't make it past the beach. We should not forget about them wanting to naval invade. Which is not very good. Hmm. Uh, let's come over here. Um, more capital ship attack, really. That's the one we want. We'll just go to war, anyways. Right now. Hmm. I want to fortify the German border first. We've already built a fairly impressive network of fortifications along the Meuse River and the border with Flanders Valonia. Regardless, we can improve it with the construction, new construction of, uh, and cutting edge military installations like radio stations and modern artillery guns, something the Republic would have never bothered to do, surely. Nice. Keep building. Because my gosh, we're completely out of artillery now, which sucks. 
Anything here? No, anything here? Uh, no. Tukachevsky's still here, which is kind of nice, honestly. I like having Tukachevsky here. Anything here? Nope. And actually, you guys can train too. Uh, which would be nice. Um, yeah, I, I just don't want to go to war yet. I don't see a point in it. Hello, what is this? Provisional Banat. Bata. Of course, Savinkov is a national populist, even though he's mostly social conservatives and market liberals. Uh, he'll definitely go to war with his others. Jing Imperial Authority is doing very well now. And, oh, they're actually pushing through the Ottomans there, huh? Oh. Huh. I kind of figured that one was coming, so. <clears throat> Third International, Third International. Third International is quite a bit weaker with us leaving, but yeah, now we can't move these guys around here. Alright. Well, yeah, let's get the fortifications and then we'll go to war. See what happens. Stay happy, 1940, everybody. Congo Verstadt and the American Civil War is looking very Pacific. Very Pacific. It's not bad. At least we're with those guys. And yeah, just keep building, 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 building. We're going to need some uh, rocket sites or fuel. I've never played as a Netherlands in Kaiserreich or Kaiserredux. At least I don't think. Flanders? Maybe yeah, investments, huh? Not a lot of divisions, but that's alright. Keep building, 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 building. Because we go. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more tungsten. It's not good. Anything. Buy a little more fuel now, too. Ooh. Oh, well, there you go. Now they're gonna war with us, too. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case. There you go. They intervened in the Valkyrie? I don't remember this being a Valkyrie, but okay. Ah, you can't actually move in there. Ah, that makes sense. Wait, yeah, you can. Oh. Oh, yeah. You guys need to do this. You guys don't do this one. There you go. Conscription crisis in Quebec. Fall of Constantinople. Wait, what? How's it the fall? Sure, guys. Sure. Oh. Huh. Well, then. Uh, where are we at? <clears throat> Definitely gonna need a lot more fuel. Definitely, 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 definitely. Yeah, let's get these modern farms done. Six more cities is just so strong. Hello. Oh, hello. That's not good. Uh, do we have any planes that we could use around here? We should, right? Fighters, fighters, tactical bombers. Uh, you guys just go right there. Uh, you guys are what? Fighters, fighters, tactical bombers. Um, you three go right down. Right, so you guys should do okay ish here. Ah, hey, five combos, nice. Ooh, that's the sub. I mean, subs aren't very good, to be honest with you. Um, that's a case. Go home first. We can't really afford you too much. We need way more fuel. Modern farms are nice. 1940, of course. Let's grab some of that. Ooh, that's too much subs. Yeah, our subs really suck. Demand all the rain. Let's fortify the German borders first. And then we'll demand it. <coughs> the French people should, uh, should wait no longer. The time has come finally for Germany to return to the whole of all sex rain or face the ultimate consequences. And should they refuse, we will bring upon them a war of a brutality and fierceness. fierceness. That will send their pawns running straight back to Berlin and will avenge their fallen brothers. Don't die too much here. They're pretty much probably all going to die, but that's a risk worth taking. Wow. It's a lot of ships. There is a lot of ships. We lost two convoys ourselves. Can you at least bomb something here? 
Do we feel better about ourselves? No? We lost two convoys. Nope. Alright. Yeah, I lost a plane or two, but that's not very much. That ain't very much. How are you looking here? 5,000 is not bad. It definitely could be better, though. Uh, more sport equipment. Just more milli. Just more of everything, pretty much. Um, yeah, we need more fuel, too. Upgrade our sub. Not bad. War propaganda. Well, wait till we go to war ourselves. Well, missing 5,000 pieces of artillery. It is what it is, of course, but still. Gladiator. Not bad. Hello, who is this? New England? Oh. Odd, but okay. I'm going to be lost. None, really. Hey, a couple of a thousand. Well, that's not bad. Delhi's losing a lot. Nice. Wow, the Ottomans look like... Man, that is so dangerous. You're literally separating by two tiles. Actually, really, one tile. If they lose that one tile, it's all over in the uh, eastern portion for them. Wow. <clears throat> nice. Last four planes, an approved sub. Ooh, two convoys. Hey, little port ain't bad, though. Not bad, not bad. Come on, fortify the German border. It's bad. Oh, yeah, work on me. That'd be nice. Build, build, go, 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 go. Get those forts on the line. Even more forts. Because they will probably start attacking like crazy. Now, do we have enough guns? Guns are okay ish, not great. We have enough light tanks and trains. Feeling a little underprepared here. Especially here. Ooh, up here is going to be pretty rough. Keep working on one of the refineries at all times for now. That'd be fine. Um, yeah. Hello, hello. And we're done with our air doctrine already. Wow. Sub. Convoys. Convoys. Well, I've definitely lost a lot of subs. <laughs> oh, man. Save some fuel just a wee bit, but still. Fortify the German board, demand all sister extend the line. Ooh. That'd be pretty good to do, but. Demand all sister first. Further the military research would be really good. Extend the line. Well, I've mostly focused on our fortification efforts on these segments of the line that are most defensible. It's quite obvious that the Germans will target weaker points instead. The solution is quite simple. We'll not have weak points. Let's say, learn how to walk on water. Good luck for them across the line. Because these divisions are actually. When they have all the equipment, pretty darn decent. You got engineers, you got your sport artillery, recon, logistics. Give you some support anti air. We don't have any or any anti tanks, so. Artillery's looking better, only minus 4,400. It's definitely better than it was earlier. Definitely. Uh, keep building up right here. I don't trust Italians. And you probably shouldn't trust Italians either. You should be able to hold out no matter what, but you know, you never know. Horses, not bad. Anyone else here looking pretty good? Pretty darn decent. And yeah, looking pretty okay. All over the place. Except, of course, we have no one guarding our ports, but we'll get there. We'll do that when the time comes. Actually. It would also help out if we actually built uh, some of that, too. Provence. Keep building up them ports, especially in, in mountains. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, how weak are we up here? Uh, fairly weak, yeah. But level 4 is not bad, especially with these 8 divisions. We're just missing so, so much artillery. So we're waiting for 3 pieces of support equipment, 41 towards artillery, and 9 motorized. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, well, let's lower it down. Uh, go down to 5. Go down to 5 for now. Support one of these if we can from Union of Burma. That'd be nice. There we go. More Provence. Nice. 
Oh, wow. You know what? We lost seven combos there, huh? Should be able to sink the subs pretty darn easily, though. With that many guys. Yep, that's what I thought. Fuel refining, nice. That's why we do it. Uh, you know what? Go and grab that one. Three subs. That sucks. Hey, naval stuff, nice. Um, here. Should help us out a little bit more. <laughs> now we're down to six. Crap. Oh, we got the first uh, radar station done, which is nice. I get the Alps ones done, too. I just do not trust Italians. 99. And should be ready for another 100. Nice. Alright, so with this stuff, what do we want? Air experience gained. I don't really need that. Special liaisons. Regular destruction. Research time. Area advisor goes costs. That's kind of useless now. I mean, the chance for air accidents goes down. It's only chance. Air training probably. Actually, you know, let's do that one so we can, we can learn faster. Battlefield interdiction. Uh, CAG night fighting is kind of interesting. Carrier night penalty reduction. When killed, air fighter detection made efficiency. I like centralized control. Um, air defense. Uh, air power protection mass strikes. Fighter detection and mass in that one. Let's try with that one. Land action is still not done. Oh, I love this one. It's overwhelming firepower so much. I love that one so much. This one's not bad either. Proper heritage is not bad. I like this one quite a bit too. Or static warfare, picture of death. I sometimes like 5%, 5 more breakthroughs is okay. It's not bad, but. Engineering school would be kind of nice too, but. Alright. Um, 40, 40, 40, 40. Soft attack. Lots of softies. Nice. Three more combos go bye-bye. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Better planes? Very good. Uh, better naval bombers? Very good, too. <coughs> and there we go. Nice. Take down Germany. Get a war goal against them. Uh, further military development. Uh, X in the line. Oh. Oh. Okay. Germans refuse. Uh, Berlin is a refused to hand over right, uh, France's rival territory, the imperial provinces of Alsace Lorraine. What better time than now? Now's not the time to confront the reactionaries. Hope we do well. And now we're at war. So, hopefully they start attacking. Kaz is at war again. Of course he is. How many ports do they have there? Quite a few, huh? We'll let them all start to get ready, because then they'll start just trying to kill us off. Peace conference? Oh. Ah. Wow, we lost that many convoys. We've got literally no convoys left. Alright, let's go do this then. Oh. That sucks. Oh, and see, I knew someone would start attacking here. You know what? I'm okay with that. Especially they're in a two-front war now. Alright. A lot of convoys. Well, at least they're going to extend the line. They didn't put too many soldiers on here, but maybe it didn't. I kind of... I, I really doubt we can do anything here, really. The Italian Federation claims Upper Savoy. Well, there are surgeons uh, in irredentism. Since reuniting the country, the Italian Federation has laid claim to the upper state of the state of Upper Savoy, currently held by the Free Territory of France. French citizens of the region are understandably alarmed, although native Italians have already started protesting in the streets and demanding that they be reunited with their motherland. How they dare. Take down Germany? Well, kind of already doing that. Um let's be good to do inefficient intelligence, but I want to also get military factories. Further military development, yeah. Our economy is now well developed and the economy is ready for war. But we can always do better. By encouraging further industrial projects, the commune should not only be ready for war, but will be indisputably be superior in every way to any of our enemies. We'll prove to the world that the commune will not be defeated. Alright, so it looks like even without doing all, all this stuff, we're still doing okay-ish, so we'll do that first. In the meantime, we will need well, more naval bombers, in all honesty. I'm slightly surprised that they're not attacking at all. I mean, we can't probably win here at all. 
Dunkirk would be really nice to get. Because we just don't have air superiority, so I don't, I don't even want to chance it. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Wow. Doing relatively okay against these guys for now. For now. I don't want them to attack. Can we bait them in? No? No, I'll probably start attacking eventually. After that initial burst from these guys. Uh, they lost 57,000, huh? 33,000 against us. Not bad. Actually, could you guys win right here? Maybe. There's a dug into the hills and forest there, but still. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Eh, yeah, lost one to struggle, whatever. Oh, now they're attacking. Look at that. Nice. Uh, that's kind of what we thought. Sure, guys. Sure, for now. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> nice. Should be able to win here, still. Wow. Bastille celebrations is very nice. Viva la commune. We have 10 convoys. We're going to need so much fuel, it's not even funny. Alright, so with you, I'm going to put you over here, and you're just going to do like guard duty for now. There we go, and then... Not bad. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Uh, I don't care if it's ahead of time or not. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for us for this part of this episode. Or this part of the campaign for this episode. Um, really not, oh, whoa. Oh, very nice. The pretty dreadnought has been sunk. Um, ooh, Ukrainian stuff, that's fine. Galaxy so far, I mean, by the time we resume the next episode, it'll be a lot, hopefully a lot higher, so... Um, but we gotta still defend our territory and stuff like that. But we'll read a couple of other focuses besides doing um, this one here. Damocles Project, maybe. Let's do Armament du Territory. Our territory is vast and unequally, unequally developed. Some rural regions are having been left behind, while others prosper and grow at spectacular rates. We must encourage local initiatives and consider ambitious infrastructure projects to solve that problem on a local and national level. Mass production. Our enemies are many, and our army is quite large as a result. This army needs a lot of equipment, and this clearly puts a strain on our factories. We must search new ways to improve our production of small arms with both design and manufacturing without cutting corners. A war industry. Despite rising animosity from Germany, our economy is still mostly dedicated to the production of civilian goods and is not suited for a major war. We need to develop our production of arms and equipment if we're to defend the economy against external threats efficiently. So we got boom, boom, boom. Um, hydroelectricity would not be bad. Plan roads. Or, or plan prost. That's not bad. We might do that one. We'll see. And then we're doing this one, of course. Alpine force is not bad. Modern equipment. Uh, this one is good to get done as well. The Ren Segments General. It's become clearly obvious that we cannot defend our country in a satisfactory manner without a modern centralized intelligence agency. The taboos of old still hold against such centralized, unscrutinized authority, but it's a sacrifice we have to make. German spies laugh softly at our pitiful intelligence committees and officers' intelligence or initiative. How often during the Valkyrie have breakthroughs been made but not exploited due to unresponsive officers? We must ensure this does not happen again. Every regiment should be able to act independently, drawing up plans and acting in as they see fit. This is the reality of modern warfare. Napoleonic columns are history. Napoleonic. But if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll deal hopefully a lot of casualties. Wow, that's a big Bulgaria. To the Reichspact. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.